Hi, it's me, Rocket with Rosa. And today I have my lovely assistant. And son. My name is Sir Uriah Stockton. <laughs> yes, my son Uriah. And today we are going to make for you guys some delicious granola pancakes. Pancakes. Um, and these pancakes are not um, gluten free. But um, they do have granola in them. If you can find a gluten-free granola, um, I didn't happen to have any in the house right now. But, you know, once in a while, I do splurge a little and have some grains. And it's not all bad. Um, and, again, it's only once in a while, so I can handle it. <laughs> um, but these pancakes are delish, aren't they? Yep. Did you like them last time? Yeah. Yeah. But this time we're using the... Mom's homemade fruit syrup. Oh yes, last time I um, had an inkling, like after I had already made his pancakes, to make some delicious homemade blueberry syrup, which I saved and was in the refrigerator. Um, and it was super easy to make what too. What the? Yeah. Turn it upside down. Mm. Can I smell it? Yeah, it's good, right? Anyways, as you can see, we're getting distracted. So let's go on with the recipe. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need is... Eggs. How many eggs? Three. Three eggs. I'll crack them. Okay. I'll just put these I will two help right you, here. sir. Why don't I put it in pick, here? Why don't you crack them in here? Okay. Me, okay. That would be delicious. And then I'll get some of the other ingredients, okay? So we are going to use some sugar in this recipe. I like to use this coconut sugar. Um, it's a little better okay. um, because it's unrefined. Hey, Mom? Um, it's more in the natural oh, state. there's a, the other egg. Yes. <laughs> Cooking with your son is so fun. Anyways, um, so we only need about um, a fourth of a cup of this. So, let me get my crushed deer cap here. Fourth of a cup. There we go. Good job, son. See, you can have your son as a helper, right? Yep. Good job. No, show him. No shells. I don't know if you can see that. Whoops. Oops. Really. You want to go, go get, get me some a napkin? paper towels? See, everything is Wait, not perfect. Do we have any paper towels? No, we don't. But we do have a rag over there if you want to oh, get it. That's good. Okay. Now on to our sugar. Let's put some sugar in there. Fourth sugar, of a cup. Fourth of a cup is that much. Wow. Yes. And then, Uriah, would you be kind enough to put the oil in? Sure. And for the oil, um, we are using some delicious great oh, seed oil. Oh, it's so sticky. Just dump it in there for me, son. Thank you very much. Yum, yum, yum. And this is my favorite, one of my favorite oils to use cooking with. Um, now I shall clean that up. It's actually good at fighting Hello. candida too. Um, and it is non, this one I buy is non-GMO. And um, it has a little omegas in it. So, win-win. Okay. Oh. So just, we're okay. We are definitely okay. We're good. So, would you like to put in the granola? It's okay, we can switch sure. spots. Um, sure. Granola? Yeah. How much granola? Is that? Um, one cup. One cup. Put it in. <laughs> this might turn into Uriah's cooking show. Okay, and the granola oh, we are using is called Nature Valley Granola. It's just some it granola be, I it had. Might be, uh, um, it has be, oats and honey in it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, the next ingredient that we need is, um, 
what I'm using today, you can use any kind of um, substitute milk um, because these are dairy free. And um, just wait, hen. Okay. Um, the, the milk I'm using is actually a creamer, but it's going to make them a little thicker. Um, and this one is made I from know. Khalifa, and it is almond milk creamer. And you don't really need that much. Um, you only need about three tablespoons. So let's find Did our tablespoon. You see me, Mom? What? Did you see me? Yes, I saw you. You're right here. Okay. So okay. we're gonna do one, two, and you're right. Up. Three. Three. <laughs> okay. And the next ingredient we need. Mixing, mixing, good job. Okay, so we need some cinnamon. And we're gonna do, <laughs> okay. We're gonna do um, a teaspoon of cinnamon. Try and hold the bowl, Uriah. It's spinning, stop. Okay, that's enough. Okay, where did the teaspoon go? Oh, there it is. See, nothing is perfect in the kitchen, is it? <laughs> so we're gonna do some teaspoon of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. ah. What? Did I get it on? Sorry. And we're gonna do a little nutmeg. Nutmeg. Yes. And that's about an eight. One eight. Here's my eight here. Oh, there it is. Okay. One eight. And if it's whoops, a little too much, it's okay. It's not me. It's not me. It's not me for what okay. I just say. Mix that up a little bit. And um, and I do like to put a little honey in there. A little bit of honey. This honey is raw honey. Man, that um, smells good. You should smell it. Does it smell good? Mmm, it smells really good. Too bad they we don't we don't have smell of vision, huh? <laughs> Wait, what? Um, so this is raw honey from our local honey maker, um, Honeyville. And we're just going to put a little bit in there. I just like to put um, a tablespoon. Not too much. Because it's already going to be good enough, right? Yep. So. I wonder what it tastes like. Don't taste Oops. the batter. I got food. some on my finger. Okay, wash your hands. See, kids want to taste the batter. I'm gonna taste it. Don't, oh, I wouldn't recommend mm. it. It's raw eggs, honey. So it's what? A, it's okay. It's pretty good. No, I bet it is. Don't do that again. Okay. See what happens? Kids just <laughs> disobey, yeah. right? But that's okay. Um, and the lastly, what I like to put in there is a little bit of this arrowroot flour um this is a this is a gluten-free uh, flour that i like to cook a lot with and we're just gonna do about a fourth of a cup of that okay so you don't need a lot it gets a little messy though Okay, so let's see. Let's mix that up and see how our batter is. And you can add anything you want in here. Um, you could add walnuts, or you can add some blueberries. Yeah, blueberries. Do you want to add some blueberries? Sure. But let me tell you, this batter well, I'll, I'll is like not bread. really too, too thick, but it's not too thin. Um, it may look thin. But, um, yeah, but what I do is I, um, when I cook on the pan, I just but use one of these little ice cream scoopers. That much. Oh, that's okay. Oh. Oops. Here, let's just put them in there. Yeah, anything's going to make this delicious. So, and then I do like to let it, if it sits for about five minutes, it does thicken it up a little more too. Um. And like I said, all you do is you just scoop it out and you just make it like you would any other pancake. 
um, and they are absolutely delicious. I will be um, putting um, some pictures on here after we make them, and you can see just how delicious they are with this delicious homemade blueberry syrup that I made, and I will do another video on that one later. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, um, and I may feature Uriah on here from time to time. He's my son. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you can get and, uh, used to his and also antics. subscribe to my channel. He Master has a channel too. Uriah. Wah. He has a channel too, um, and he will be putting um, more videos on his channel too. Yeah. Thank you I so for <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.